Hi, this is Dave Weiss with AmongArts.com and the video blog. Man, it's been a long time since I've done one of these. Please excuse the appearance of my studio. I have got stuff everywhere right now, but I just finished a major project. I'm doing an 18-foot display for our, uh, for our district conference this year, and I finally finished it. Now I just have to take all the pieces and put them together on site, and it'll all be finished. So uh, in the meantime, please excuse my mess. I've got stuff everywhere, but it's really a cool feeling to know that I have that accomplished. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, creating a safe place to fail. Yes, I said that right, a safe place to fail. See, when you're creative, one of the first things you need to realize is you're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to do things that aren't going to go quite according to plan. It's understandable if you think about it because think about it. You're creating something that hasn't existed before. When I was putting this display together, it went together great, except for one thing I didn't take account of. The base that I had built for it was not heavy enough. And so it started to rock and it would have fallen had I not put in a bunch of weight on it. So I know that I need to go back in and I need to adjust some things, but it was getting really frustrating because it looked so good, but it wasn't right. You need to have a safe place to fail. Even within your own heart, within your own mind, sometimes things are not going to go according to plan. You need to trust that you'll be able to pull it out and fix it. And some things just aren't going to work, and those you need to let go. Now, this is really important in your own life, in your own studio, in your own wherever you work. But it's even more important in the church. Because if we want to inspire people to be creative, to take risks, to do new things, we also have to expect that it's not always going to work. And we need to have it, our, our mindset in such a way that if something doesn't work, we're not going to put, make that person feel like they can't do anything. That's really important. Because trying something new, creating something new, is really kind of putting yourself out there to be evaluated and judged by people. And it's really important that when somebody struggles that we find the good in their idea and we help them to develop it further instead of just help it, writing them off, which is what happens a lot of times. Now, as artists, as the creative people, there are a few things we can do. The number one is very simple. We can plan and plan and plan. In other words, start off with stuff that doesn't cost a lot of money. Drawing is almost free. Sketch things out. Plan them out. Think about them. Develop them. Before you start investing the money, because a lot of times, that's what people really get frustrated about, is they get frustrated about lost money. And, you know, we all have somewhat limited resources, so that is an important factor. So make sure that you're thinking ahead of time, that you don't just go haphazardly into things, but that you've planned. Another thing is, not every idea is going to be completed, or at least not right away. I've had things that God has put on my heart years before I've had the ability to actually do them. But they're just something that kind of sits at the back of your mind. What you need to do with those things is write them down, get them in a sketchbook, draw the sketches, do the things, and, and wait for God to put people in your life that can help you make it a reality. No man is an island. Sometimes you're going to need help. But if you start off by doing the low-risk things, especially on huge projects, if you start off by doing the low-risk things, and you get people involved with the vision, give them something they can see, you go a long way towards succeeding at something that maybe you're struggling with now. Again, creativity is about ideas. And especially God-ordained or creativity is about having a God-given idea. So one of your first steps is seeking the Lord and praying. And don't write anything off. I mean, sometimes you'll have an idea that's a little crazy. Sometimes you'll have an idea that looks like there's no way in the world that it can work. Write it down anyway. Because maybe what you're thinking of won't work exactly as it is, but as you move along, you'll start to see ways that it could work. Some of these ideas that we get, especially those that we get in prayer, they may take some time. God may be preparing you for something down the road. 
but get it down on paper and hold on to it someplace. I love to use sketchbooks. I have a lot of sketchbooks. I fill probably three or four a year. Um, they cost very little and you know you have it. You have the idea then for when it comes time for it to come to fruition. But creating a safe place to fail is so hugely important. Because people need to be able to try things if they're going to be creative. Sometimes those things aren't going to work. And if they don't work, what are you going to do? You're going to quit? No. You're going to move forward. So create that safe place to fail. Especially if you're a church administrator or something like that. Create a safe place to fail, a place where people can try things. And if you're one of the creatives, make sure you do your homework and you get everything ready before you really plunge in and use up resources that maybe people don't exactly have. Well, that's about it for today. Take care, and I hope this is helpful. Uh, keep in touch. I realize that I've been a little quiet lately. I'm going to try to change that around this week, and uh, in the weeks to come, most of my major projects are down now. I have done now. I have some uh, some writing left to do and a few messages left to generate, but the Lord's been laying them on my heart, and I know it's just a matter of time before they get written down. And with His help, they won't fail. May God bless you as you seek to do His will. Remember, it doesn't always work. you got to break some eggs to make an omelet, as the saying goes. Keep on moving forward in your God-given creativity.